welcome back. His hobby is making children happy. At 85 years old, Ernie Suarez spends his retirement years making huge four-foot-tall dollhouses. We're happy to have him this morning. Welcome, Ernie. Welcome to you, too. You Good are morning. just the sweetest guy. So these dollhouses, how long does it take to make one of these? Well, like this here, if I start from beginning to end, I can, I can do one of these in a month. A in month. a month. But this, this, I took my time. Gosh, this is amazing. I mean, check this out. Like, we have Roger on camera. Look at this. Every little, everything comes apart. So you made all the furniture to go with it. And this five was bedroom a... Five-bedroom house. <laughs> I love a five-bedroom house. This is awesome. Okay. Might we point out, Ernie's attention to detail, there is a toilet paper roll that actually works in the toilet. <laughs> this is hilarious. I forgot to put the paper there. <laughs> you were going to put paper on it too. I usually put, oh, I put the white shoot. paper on. <laughs> this is so awesome. You started making this almost a little over 30 years ago, right? About 30 years now, yeah. I started actually through a woman. She wanted a doghouse. So I built a doghouse for her. A dog then I house, told okay. my wife, if I can build dog houses, I can build doll houses. So I started building that. And I got associated with the police and the fire department in Long Beach. And Where I built you were living houses. in Long Beach at the time, yeah. okay. In Long Beach, California. And they get about 12 doll houses every year. Okay. Besides a whole pile of different size furniture. It's amazing yeah, that you do donated. this, and you would donate it at Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. You are the sweetest thing. In fact, we have a picture of the certificate of accommodation that the mayor of Long Beach gave to Ernie, Kill. To Ernie and your um, now deceased wife, Anne. Mm -hmm. That's such a special thing. So now you've come back home to Hawaii, and you're doing these over here. Not, so, not quite 12 a year, right? You've slowed yeah. down a little bit. But you give them to charity. Yeah, this is, got, this is all the charity. This one's going to where next? This is this, this going to the Kaiser, uh, uh, Kaiser Paternity, uh, uh, Pediatric Section, going to Kaiser Hospital. I, I have to ask you, why do you do it? Like, how does it make you feel to, to give it away to children? I do it is because it keeps me busy, it keeps my mind wide open, and I build things. I like to build things, and I like to do it, do it. So I just, with the graces of my heart, I just feel sorry for a lot of children in the world. So I build them, and I just give it away. And when they're happy and they're expressing Oh, smiling. they're happy, yeah. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel 100% like a fault in the air. <laughs> oh, you are so sweet. Do you make anything else? Uh, I usually make, I usually make what you call uh, tables and chairs like this. Okay, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I usually make tables and chairs like that, and then I give it to people. To you give them to people along yeah. with the dollhouse. And do you make anything else? Well, not that I can think of right at the present time. And this here, I would like to present <laughs> the, the golden microphone to you <laughs> on your future retirement. Oh my I gosh. hope you can retire as long as I have. <laughs> <laughs> See this? It has cage and all on it. Awesome, Ernie. <laughs> all right, I'm going to close it out from here. Thank you for making this with this. Is a cork? You are so creative. All right, reporting live, Diana Coe, throwing next to break. <laughs>